Hey guys, so this is Abby, and this video is all my photography and videography equipment. So it all starts with my camera, so this is my camera bag. So I really love this camera bag, it has this really nice strap, and the shoulder part is very cushiony. And this is a messenger style bag, so it swings around your shoulder. And I got this off Amazon, I got the teal and gray colored, I really love the turquoise color, and this is by the brand Ape Case. So when you open it up, this is the little pouch section, it's a very bright yellow. I have my little lens cap thingies that are the extra ones. And then I also have my charger cable in here, and I always seem to be needing to charge it all the time. So if I close that up and then I open the big pouch, there's very strong velcro and then a nice zipper as well, so very protective. Now inside it has some velcro stuff to customize it to fit your camera, and it's all very nice and cushioned and protective. So the camera itself is a Canon Rebel T5i, and I really love this camera. It works very, very well for what I need it to do. Now the lens that I have on it is a kit lens. You can buy it separately as well. The lens that I have is the Canon zoom lens 18 to 135 millimeter STM lens and that STM lens stands for stabilization motor which basically means that the autofocus is silent when compared to a lot of other lenses where they make that awful autofocus noise and I absolutely hate that noise it bothers me so much but with this lens I can actually use autofocus and it doesn't make a sound now I really love this camera it takes great pictures for Instagram and for anything else that I want to take pictures of. It has lots of features and a touchscreen. and the main reason why I got the T5i instead of the T3i is because of the touchscreen because I was so used to touchscreen video from my iPod that I really wanted to stay with a touchscreen. Now when I go to film, I have it on my tripod. I usually film in the 1080p quality at 30 frames per second. Though sometimes if I'm trying to get action shots of them like running around or if there's lots of movement in the video, I will do the 720p at 60 frames a second so it's a lot more smooth but just not as crisp. Now one reason that I really like filming with cameras more than camcorders is because they have more lighting settings. Most camcorders, if you don't have the proper lighting, they look very gray and I really don't like that look. So what I've been doing recently is switching this to the cloudy or indoor setting which makes it look less gray and more warm and brighter and a slight bit more kind of orangey but I think it looks a lot better. And when I'm filming with the autofocus I can just touch the screen where to focus and then I can hold down the button halfway to make it focus there. I do also use manual focus for my camera sometimes as well to get that really cool little focusing scene where it's out of focus then it goes into focus. And I got this refurbished off the Canon store for $650 for the whole kit, which I think is a very good price seeing that brand new this camera is over $1,000. And the memory card that I have is a 16GB Extreme SanDisk. So moving on, sometimes when I'm filming vlogs and stuff for outside or when I go on trips or anything, I film with my iPod. And I also used to film a lot of my videos with my iPod as well. So I just have a 32GB 5th gen iPod Touch and I also use this for Instagram and editing Instagram photos. Now, moving away from cameras and now to lighting. So I do not have any lighting equipment. I would really like a studio light or two for when it's dark out. But for all my videos, I have just been using natural light. My room has very good lighting. I actually have windows on three sides of my room, which is something that doesn't happen a lot in like a bedroom. 
and I do sometimes turn on my lamp if it is needed. So moving on to tripods. Now when I used to use my iPod, and I still use this a little bit, I had this little iPod tripod attachment, and you can also use this for pretty much any phone as well. It just holds your phone or iPod nice and snug in this little thing, and then it screws on to your tripod. And you can pick these up very cheap on eBay or Amazon, they're only like $3. Next is my cheap tripod that I used when I was using my iPod. Now this tripod is very cheap and it's just a no-name brand like cheap aluminum tripod. I got it for $15 off eBay and it worked for what I needed. Now because it's so lightweight it works well for like my iPod but when I got my DSLR I really had to get a heavy duty tripod because my camera is so heavy. So the tripod that I currently use my brother actually gave it to me. My brother's boss when he was at work one day, they had this old tripod, and it is an old one. I don't recommend like you go looking for this certain one because it is old, but my brother's boss basically just gave it to him. My brother didn't have much use for it because he just uses his iPod to film, so he gave it to me because I had just gotten my big DSLR. So this tripod is very nice, I really like it. It's a lot smoother than like my cheap aluminum one is, and the important thing, it actually holds up my camera. So now, I don't have a microphone to mount onto my camera. I really want one, but they're a lot of money, and I don't have the extra money to buy one right now. So when I do voiceovers, I use my brother Isaac's Blue Snowball, and this is a Blue Snowball Ice. You can get it for around $50, and it works very well for voiceovers. I'm using it right now, and I think it sounds pretty good. And there is a way I can hook this up to use it with my camera. It's a little bit complicated, but I will be trying it out hopefully, and maybe I can get it to work. So now getting into more of the editing stuff, here are my headphones. Now when you're editing, you have to have your headphones to hear your volume. And I just have these JVC's over-the-ear headphones, and I really love these. I've had them for over two years now, and one ear is a little bit off in volume, but I don't really care. But they're so comfy, and I really like these headphones. Now, the mouse that I use, it's not that important, but some of you may wonder. All I use is this wireless Microsoft mouse. Pretty much with any mouse that you get, you will adjust with it and you'll get used to it. So whatever mouse you have, it really doesn't matter. So now on to my laptop. Now, as some of you may know, I do want to get a new laptop, but I do not have the money to get a nice laptop right now. My laptop is an HP and is part of the Pavilion G series. It is 14 inch and is just a so-so laptop. These specs aren't that great. Now because my laptop is so slow, I have to have it up on these little caps so then it doesn't overheat when I'm editing or playing Minecraft. And on my laptop, I just have a couple stickers. I have a Vermont sticker, a diamond pickaxe sticker, and this little tracked insured sticker. And now on to video editing. So the video editor that I use is called Sony Vegas Pro 12. Now this is like a $700 program, but my brother gave it to me so I did not have to pay for it. Now I really like this editor for a lot of reasons. One reason is because the layout of the editor is very plain so my computer can handle it. So when I go to edit a video, all I have to do is drag in my clips to the timeline. And one of my favorite parts is that I have split set to S on my keyboard and delete as D. So I have my two fingers right there on the keyboard ready to split and delete and it just makes editing very fast. And when I want to add text, all I have to do is drag a text preset over to the timeline and then just edit it how I want to. For transitions, all you have to do is drag it in as well. You can also have unlimited tracks, which is very nice because a lot of times I have a lot of tracks, especially for videos like this. So all in all, I absolutely love this editor. The only thing that I wish it had was more text effects because I'm very limited on my text effects. But besides that, it runs pretty good on my laptop, so I like it. 
Now for my thumbnails, I mainly use Sony Vegas again for my photos. So once I have my thumbnail photo cropped to the proper size, I drag it into Sony Vegas and do all the effects on it. Then all I have to do is export it as a picture. Then once it is rendered out, the file is too big for YouTube, so all I do is open it in Paint and resize. Now I think I am horrible at thumbnails, I really wish I could change my style a bit for thumbnails, I'm really trying to change it up a little bit, but I hate photo editing. And lastly, for recording audio like this, I just use a free program called Audacity, and you can go online and search for it and download it for free. So yeah guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video, I hoped it helped you in any way. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below, and I will do my best to get back to you. Also, make sure you go follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at StormyRabbits. And anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye. I had been looking for a rabbit for probably two to three months and wasn't having very much luck. I was first planning on an Angora, but I couldn't find one anywhere. So then I started looking for regular rabbits. And one day my 